you think we'll make a machine to equal the brain, the human mind? As far as arithmetic is concerned, they're already way mm. out of it. I mean, in general, memory, idea, formation, a soul, so to speak. You know, when first the machines came out, everybody thought that they wouldn't, that they would, that they didn't. Fact. I'm sorry. Let's leave the soul out. All right. Well, do you think that the computer will approximate the human mind in all our respects? Computing machines think with a language which is number. Everything else we transfer into number to make them work. Okay. They are lousy when it comes to perception. They don't have any underlying natural language the way we do, that we share with the animals. But when you want to make them spot objects, develop a model of the world around them, so you find out they're not the right device. Okay? If you want them to play chess, all right. Our chess playing program at MIT is already a number two chess player. In another year, I think it'll be a number one. It will not be a master at the end of another year. But it's six years old. Hmm. In six years, it's all from nothing. It's come up to being a number one. To no human being ever did that. So I expect them to go well ahead on these kind of problems because we can reduce these things to number. Hmm? Mm -hmm. But they'll never be able to write a piece of poetry like Warren McCullough can. Why not? can't produce poetry the number, I would assume. They can produce very nice music. I see no reason why. If we learn enough about our own mother tongue to let them go right, but they can't do it. At the present time, as far as languages are concerned, we can handle the languages which are produced for programming. Those are languages in which the context does not matter. Everything is right there in that sentence. They're phrase-structured grammars. All right? Now, these can be completely understood in terms of group theory, whereas human language, natural human languages, cannot. What would you say is your